Hey folks, welcome to the channel. I'm Don. This is Rockin' a Country. I'm wearing my Canada hat on purpose. Well, for one, I enjoy wearing it. It fits me really well too. Some hats, some baseball caps fit well, others look weird. And uh, this one I like. So Terry Wood, shout out to you. Thank you for the gift of this hat. Dan Sigurdsson, who lives in Lumbee, British Columbia in Canada. I'm wearing this in your honor as well. Roger Allen Wade's song, The First Time I Saw Whalen, and Dan made a gift to the channel for me to react to this one, so thank you for this one, Dan, and here's the story. This is in honor of uh, Dan's friend, Dennis, who passed away last week, and Whalen Jennings played at Dennis's house in Lumbee, British Columbia, decades ago, and... Uh, Back in the 70s, I think you said, Dan. So that's the whole story of why Dan wanted me to do this one. So this is dedicated to his friend Dennis. I won't rate this one. I'm just going to listen to it, give my comments. You guys could comment as you will, and we'll go from there. Roger Allen Wade. I don't think I've reacted to Roger Allen Wade before. Maybe I have, but I don't recall. Shoplifted an eight track tape in JC Penney's when I was young. One called the Silver Tongue Devil by the great Christopherson. Yeah, I've done that. And I caught Bob Dylan on that Johnny Cash TV show. Turn me on, Willie Nelson, Lord, with nowhere's left to go. Till that first time I saw Whalen at Memorial Auditorium in Chattanooga, Tennessee. But that first time I saw Whalen, Elvis and the Beatles didn't mean a damn thing to me. Yeah, my uncle saw that look in my eyes, said the boy will never work another day. Life. A uh -oh. telecaster chicken picking with him to send me sailing On that first time I saw whaling Singing Billy Joe Shaver song On that first time I saw whaling They turned around and I was gone Fascinating. I like how we progress one through the artists where he stole the tape, stole the eight track tape. Chris Christopherson was on it. Then he saw Johnny Cash on the TV show. Then there was Willie. And then he said, but the first time he saw Whalen, Elvis and the Beatles didn't mean anything to him anymore, which he might have caught some flack for saying that Elvis didn't mean anything to him anymore. Uh, the Beatles, because different genres. But Elvis, yeah, he, Elvis was his own genre. But uh, in any case, that was, I love the strumming in this thing. I don't even know if you would call that picking. Some of you folks would know better than I would, you guitarists out there. Um, yeah, Kevin Bounds, you would have some thoughts on that. Jeff Cather, you would too. 
Jeff, you really liked the, the intro that I had. I've done that intro a couple of times, the other one, but I, and I'll do it. I have a variety of intros. I may even get some more. I used to have like five different ones I use. Now I think I have three, but the one you like. But in any case, the strumming on this thing was was fascinating. I don't know how else to put it. And the way he sang it, there were a couple of moments where if I closed my eyes, I would have heard wailing. Just a couple of moments in there, not the whole thing. So don't go off on me on that one. But um, yeah, he delivered that song. But I kept picturing him singing in Lumbee, British Columbia, even though it was Whalen who performed in Dennis, your friend Dennis's living room, Dan. And you weren't there for that. Uh, I guess you weren't old enough or didn't know Dennis well enough then or whatever the deal was. But Dan said, even though Lumbee, British Columbia isn't this major spot on the map, it was a spot through which artists would go. And Dan said that it, it might be because there's really good weed growing up there in Lumbee, and which Dan will tell you all about unabashedly. So, all right, I'm not rating that song. That was just in honor of Dan's friend, Dennis. And it makes a lot of sense, Dan O, that you would request this for your buddy, given the backstory of him seeing Whalen play in his living room. with, And you, you said you thought a couple of members of the band were probably there, too. So how cool is that? All right, folks, we can thank Dan for that one. He writes Hakad in the comments, so you'll see him again. All right, Dan, thank you again, my friend. Have a great day. I'll see you on another video and keep rocking the country.